and with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome to, as Arian just said, let's play Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy Big Bang. I've waited the best part of about two years to say that it has been ages since we started the Let's Play of Chrono Stones, but this is the one we've been waiting for. The game we never got as an official release in English is finally here in a form we can actually play. Look, the words on the bottom screen are in English. This is all thanks to the level 10 fan translation team, uh, to which I'm a part, but I mainly want to thank the likes of our project leader, Sync, and all of the translators that were in the opening credits for, um, uh, for the scene. I'll put them on screen again. That's our little opening graphic, but thanks to the hard work of everyone involved, we can play Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy in English. If you want to play along, then get yourself a copy of the game uh, just online, and then you may want to head to my tutorial video on how to install the English patch. Patch is free, just get yourself a copy of the game and you can play along. But I don't want to keep you too long because we've got a game to play. So here we go, let's just see how the game begins. Now we may have translated the game into English, but uh, certain things will stay the same. It will want to default to the Japanese names, but we can still put this in. We can't change everything, but Hey, as somebody who did work on the patch, I'm sure I'll be able to share some developer insights as we go along. For now, I am TAIL, in all caps because the lowercase one doesn't quite centralise. Let's go! Yeah, nobody making this video would ever try to recreate the special moves of the game, right? Please don't, though. サッカー世界大会ストボールフロンティアインターナショナル ようやく決まったようですね。あなた方の代表者たちが。ああ。それにしても意外でした。まさかあのようなメンバーをお選びになるとは。かかっているものが大きいからこそ彼らを選んだ。お手並みを拝見します。監督。世界の新生稲妻ジャパンが誰が選ばれるんだろう。ワクワクするよな。うんうん。ワクワク。天馬。自分は絶対に選ばれるという口ぶりだな。いや、そんなことはないよ。今度は正解だ。ほら、あまりはしゃぐな。ああ、はい。シンドさん、俺たちここまで来たんですね。あ、そうだな。長かった。ついに来たん
They're supposed to be picked for an Azuma National to fight against the world. Everyone from Universal Middle School is really motivated for this. He stands out as a good candidate to me, but not as good as the man Bailong. He's here in his zero kit. Hmm. Next is the world, eh? I'm shaking in excitement. I guess I have to fight against the world alongside Victor this time. Uh, just like in Thunder Flash, of course, we've got Dodge. The FFI vision too, eh? A while ago, we couldn't even play football freely. Things have changed a lot. That's actually important to point out because, yes, FFI V2, you would imagine it stands for version 2, right? That would make sense. No, it's vision 2, apparently, and that's not an error. <laughs> if there's anybody from Alpine that gets chosen as a representative, it'll be me. I'll show the world my power. And remember how the goalkeeper's actually the captain of your team. Maybe he'll just get picked as well. Uh, <laughs> let's go Wolf White. Uh, speaking of goalkeepers, Quentin Cinquedea, could we have him on the team for the first time? That's a possibility. Cronus might actually get his first full match ever. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Even Harry Houdini is here. But uh, yeah, you know, we can't wander around too freely. But I hope the Kirkwoods players will be chosen for Izuma National. We all did special training for this. Actually doing a male Liverpoolian accent for once.私が稲妻ジャパン監督の黒岩隆生だ。これより日本代表となる新生稲妻ジャパンを発表する。エピソード 1 新生稲妻ジャパンを発表するただし本日選ばれるのは11名のみだたった11人それでは発表するまずは稲妻ジャパンキャプテン松風天馬 Arion, you're the captain of Inazuma National. Uh, congratulations. Uh, do your best. JP. Minasan Goran Kudasai! Korega Nippon no Hokuru! Shinsei Inazuma Japan des! Yeah, so um, <laughs> that's it. No like selection match like we'd have in a, in a Zoom 11 3 to narrow down the number of candidates. We have 11 players and they're here. And we've heard of about three of them. Hmm? <laughs> 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 
選ばれた選手の中には公式試合のデータにない選手も混じっているようですね確かにこれをどう見ますか解説の松井さん海外で実績のある黒岩監督が見出した選手たちですからね知られていないながらもきっと素晴らしい力の持ち主なのでしょう Welcome your new coach, Astro Black. It's an honor for us. All eleven of you have the duty of aiming for the world. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Very interesting. Then show me your abilities. We will now hold an exhibition match. Now? Isn't that a bit too hasty? Right off the bat. But this way, we'll be able to learn more about these members. The match will be held in ten minutes. Your new uniforms can be found in the changing room. Yes. New Inazuma National is now preparing for an exhibition match. This match will be the beginning of the new Inazuma National's legacy. There are only ten minutes left. And that means everyone has already changed out of their unique kits. Um, we'll have to bring attention to that at some point because there's quite a lot of meaning to what kits uh, everyone in the group was wearing. They were all specifically picked out, but we'll get to that later because this is Inazuma National's kit. And together, we represent Japan. Even so, never mind knowing how well they play, we've never even heard of them at all. We know nothing about their abilities or individual traits. Will they really play well with us? I'm sure there were incredible players hidden around the country that we just didn't know about. I can't wait to see what they can do. Hmm. Royal Academy? I'm down for any opportunity to hear that music, by the way. Let's go! Our closest rival. I'm not sure that's entirely true, Victor, but <laughs> we'll see. Listen here! If we want to win this game, we have to work perfectly together. All of us! So don't try to do this all by yourselves. Let's win this together. And of course, uh, the game is teaching us how to save. Um, I mean, if you want me to shout out the previous owner of this second-hand copy of the game, then I could do that. But maybe let's not save in the middle of a recording. We can have a wander around, but I mean... This this lass is just nothing but question marks. He's not a man of many words. Um, Coach Sheepwood exists. But uh, a nice little reminder that we are being televised. Um, so Royal Academy, we can already see by talking to them, Rex Remington, he was one of the Imperials that got kicked off the team in Go Light. But now he's just back. So I guess Princeton's probably lost his title as captain by now. Um, but we'll have a word with Jude, and we'll use our brand new Inazuma National to actually take them on. Let's see what we can do. 
So this is our chance to actually organize the team and our first revelation of a position. Yes, you must have Terry as your goalkeeper. Uh, I'm not actually going to change this formation, but I'll just click on everyone so we've at least uh, assigned some names to some faces. We've got Frank, Defender, Zippy is a Defender, Keenan is a Defender, and Trina completes the defense. No moves on anybody yet. We've got Ricardo in the midfield alongside Arian Sherwind. Alongside two new midfielders, we've got Therese Blossom and Buddy Fury, who at least has a skill. This is the first move we've seen outside of uh, Arian and Ricardo having some moves in the bonus slots, meaning you can get rid of them and replace them with something else. Uh, that's where all of Victor's moves are at the moment, Doom Sword Slash and Doom Dive Drive. Then we have another new forward in Falco Flashman, and our coach, Astro Black, will boost Virtuoso, should it come to that. Don't think we're going to be getting into special tactics just yet. Before we start the new game, let's go over the new rules again. In the FFI Vision 2, the use of fighting spirits is strictly forbidden. This rule has been introduced in order to balance the forces and abilities of individual players. So this means that only ordinary football is played. This new rule is to see how it affects the player's play style. This means that fighting spirits must neither be unleashed nor armified. Isn't that excellent? I agree, cutting back on the gimmicks at the start of the game and it makes, uh, makes the anime a bit more interesting for that as well. With this rule, the pure power of the players show up. A great idea from Mr. Black. I don't approve of gimmicks either. I was the star striker back when none of those things existed. Except I kind of had one in Fireball Storm, but the clash of Inazuma National and Royal Academy! That's the kickoff! So let's play! Look at the Get Your Stylus Ready screen. Some of the subtle glow ups in Go Galaxy are just brilliant. Look at the coaches on the bottom screen as well. Black versus Sharp. Royal Academy out level us by two levels. There is nothing we could have done about that. Um, you can, of course, have a look at the individual bios for the Royal players, but they are um, exactly the same as they have been on previous occasions. Just knowing that Rex Remington is there is, is something, and Coach Sharp. Uh, for Twin Wings that they probably don't even have, but again, <laughs> we're not going to worry about special tactics. One of the few surviving gimmicks uh, when we're in tutorial mode, right? That's what, whoa, is this going to be a tutorial? Wow. And here they are, the 11 Inazuma National players who carry Japan's pride on their shoulders. With this match, you'll be able to see their power in action right now. I'm really looking forward to it. For an overview of this match and the FFI Vision 2 as a whole, I speak to our resident pundit, pundit John Mutson. This is the first time I'm watching a match from the Japanese team. I'm glad to be here with you. Coach Black, I was asked to show them their player data. So why did you choose them? Well, because they're going to be amazing, right? Let's uh, open with a cheeky back pass and get this match underway. Of course not, this is in a Zoom 11, you don't get to make the first move. Japan's representatives, show me how good you are! Aryan, let's dribble up the pitch first. Yes! And this is of course our tutorial on how to dribble. Same as ever, just draw a line from your character and you are already dribbling. We can also get into a command duel. Uh, you can pick between left or right. If you guess wrong, you can still potentially dribble past the player if your score is high enough, like it is for Arian here. Uh, but if you guess correctly, then sometimes you get to skip past the interaction entirely. Which is what it tells us only after we've done the first command duel. It really could have said that first. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's a bit of an exaggerated example there in the image. 192 versus 20. Yeah, you're going to be winning that no matter what. But sometimes it is nice to see when you actually uh, pick to go the opposite direction to the other player and you can just skip straight past. Um, meanwhile, you could also bypass that interaction entirely with a special move, one of the staples of Inazuma 11 entirely. Or again, you could bypass it by passing away. But we are, of course, going to have to go for a dribble move here. So easy breezy, again, it's in one of Arian's extra slots in this game, so that means we can actually replace it with a different move should we want to, but we do need to use it there. Too slow, I'll get the ball. Ah, too fast. 
Ricardo! Their defense is strong, as I thought. I'm not going to get past them by myself. Time to try the other players. Frank! ボクシングで世界レベルの実力を持つ今弱いって言ってるな。いっ。森村この。運動部への入部経験なし。真鍋純一郎。日本経産超人コンテスト優勝。野崎桜。身体総部のエース。皆保和人。父親は警視総監賞を授与された優秀な刑事。止めた。イブキ宗康。彼は全国クラスの実力を持ったバスケットボール選手。何なんだ。これ。初心者か。日本代表に選ばれているんだぞ。最悪だ。最悪の稲妻ジャパンだ。来いよ。俺からボールを取れるかな。思わず避けちまった。やっぱ素早く動くのはパンチに見えちゃうぜ。足が速ければいいってことじゃないか。ボールを取らなきゃ
Okay, well, I sure hope so, Arian. We will be in possession, so uh, maybe, I'll just, maybe I'll just give it to you, eh? I, th I think I can trust you on this one, Arian. Um, so let's just, for now, go for the pure outrun, because a level 3 team and a level 5 team, yeah, not the quickest. Um, so we'll pass to Victor and actually go for a shot. Uh, we've got Doom Sword Slash and Doom Dive Drive, but look at look at the TP on Doom Sword Slash. 15. I mean, we do want to score for the benefit of Japan and its pride, so we'll go for the stronger move, Doom Dive Drive, but Doom Sword Slash is cheap in this game. That is affordable as heck, and it's not even the least affordable move in the game, would you believe? For now, the banging new goal music. Love the energy of that, and we have equalized the game thanks to Victor. So we'll we'll try and take down these Royal Academy guys. We are in free play right now, but the match timer is considerably slowed down. Like, it is going second by second at the moment. Um, they are going to make sure we don't just bring this match to, a, to an immediate close. But Arian still has Hyper Swiper. That's the other one of his moves in his bonus slot. A very affordable... Uh, blocking move, which I'm sure we'll be making lots of use of for time to come. For now, let's just keep playing the match until it decides that it's time to stop uh, at any uncertain point. Victor, go up! Shoot as fast as you can! Got it. Yes, it's going to give us the tutorial on how to take a shot now. Um, so I might have already scored a goal in Azuma 11 Go Galaxy. I'm not sure if you're aware of that part, but, um, yeah, we have the choice between shoot, which is a target, you know, a shot on target, and we have power shot. This is a change from previous games where it used to just be shot and chip shot. Chip shot was more accurate and shoot was more powerful. Now we've got shoot and a more powerful version of shoot. I'm just going to go for a Doom Sword Slash instead, but I think um, Power Shoot consumes a little bit more stamina. This is mainly guessing, to be honest. I think the critical difference is that when you've got gimmicks like Fighting Spirits open, you actually can't use uh, Power Shoot in certain situations, but we'll come across that when it's actually relevant. But we are back in the lead now. Goal! Inazuma got one point, Matt. Can we expect a comeback? Um, they're already 2-1 up in the lead. Clearly, I'm too good for this game. It's time to end the Let's Play there and then. Well, aside from Ari and Ricardo and Victor, I don't see any coordination. This could be really difficult. So, it's time for the black screen text. That means we're skipping ahead in the gameplay. Yeah, Royal Academy continues to attack. It's back to story, all right with some more brilliant music. Protocol Omega making its way into Go Galaxy's soundtrack. Yeah, just ignore the two goals. It's time to start losing again, because, oh dear, Rex Remington is going to be our worst enemy at the moment. Ah! <laughs> Poor Trina, though. <laughs> What on earth is this? Goal! Royal Academy scores another point! The first half ends here! Royal Academy has the lead! This is a shocking development! What is going on with this team? Seven to two. Might lose this one. Why? Why are they Japan's representatives? If this is Japan's football, it looks like a joke to the world. What are you going to do, coach? Hmm. With these members, it doesn't matter how much we try. We cannot win. It's over. Not yet. It's not over till it's over. I will not give up. It will only be the end if you give up. Arian. Ha. I'm sorry. I said something brazen. No. Arian is right. No matter what happens, even three people can score enough to win. Yeah. Let's start with the second half. I wonder if Inazuma National will make a comeback. 
Well, I wouldn't count your chickens, we'll put it that way, but let's at least try and rely on the main three, uh, Arian, Victor, and Ricardo. At least we have those guys we can trust. We won't give up, we'll definitely score. Arian, do your best. And now we've got an example of filling the advanced gauge. This is going to come up in a lot of story matches. Just basically to say, when you complete the advanced gauge, you can move on to the next part of the story. And you can advance it by completing passes, dribbling up the pitch, doing special moves is something that advances it quite a lot. Just if the ball is in possession of the other players, you cannot advance the advanced gauge. So we'll go for a sliding tackle with Victor. He will fail. <laughs> we will go for a sliding tip. We'll go for a hyper swiper um, without passing elsewhere by mistake. And then as soon as we have the ball, thankfully this is obviously in tutorial mode, going to be the easiest advanced gauge in the game. I probably won't even have to do anything here. Half filled through hyper swiper. And then I'm just going to kind of go for a bit of a run. Falco's at least running alongside. You know, you can pretend to feel involved. Inazuma National takes the ball! They start the second half with new spirits! The three heroes of Saints way, Arian, Victor and Ricardo, have shown us great moves. Ah, another fail. Tripling's pretty hard. <laughs> My energy is already depleted by 90%. I need a 20 minute break. Yeah, I'm scared. Those eight players are frankly useless. Arian's team of three can't just win this by themselves. But they haven't given up. Great to see Bylong and Sol directly communicating with each other. Chronostones be damned, they can coexist. But Arian, Victor, there's not much time left. We have to score at least once. Yeah. Um, apparently we're going to be set up to do that with Arian. He's even had a heal just so that we can go for a Zephyr shot. <laughs> just set up for free. So it's time for running in the 90s all over again. Zephyr shot, go! 55 power is all it was. But is it going to be enough? No, it's genuinely not. So we thought we were being set up by default. Um, but that's not true. So actually we're going to get one of the new players involved. Cherise, are you going to be good enough? Uh, no, unsurprisingly not, so back to Arian we go again. Um, I don't know if we'll get the chance to see this, but it's not impossible for your new players to win command duels uh, in this. It's certainly not rigged so that they lose by default. They're just not going to put up the biggest threat. Um, well, we're in tutorial. Is this where Tale of the Toaster explains the offside rule? Um, I'd rather just <laughs> get this goal. Now, of course, uh, you've always got to be on the lookout for offside when playing Go Galaxy. Clearly, I did that on purpose just for the explanation. But if your player is stood ahead of every other defender um, at the moment when you pass to them, then you will be offside. So try not to do that. Uh, instead, pass to a player before they run past the defender. Then you can run them up to intercept the pass and then go for a shot. Or just pass a lot sooner than that and try to dribble up the patch of the pitch like a normal player that move will be plenty strong enough to score thank you victor seven to three <laughs> goal inazuma national managed to score back yes nice now let's keep huh and with this, the match is over! Who'd have expected this? The Royal Academy has won! This is Inazuma National? Could this be a great mistake? This is an abnormal situation. With this, we could get a change of coach. What a disappointment! This is a huge disappointment! Is this really it? Well, for this match it certainly is. At least we dominated possession according to the game and uh, Buddy's got a new move for losing. Sure. Inazuma Chobongo. Makita. Gakkari da na. Kusso. Shindo, 
This seems going to be the end of Inazuma National. I need you to explain to me why you chose these rookie players as the representatives. I don't have to explain anything. Team, tomorrow we begin with the training. Got it? Yeah? Yes? Ah, uh, this is the most miserable Inazuma National team of all time! It's also the second Inazuma National team of all time, but the point still stands. What are they up to, Black? Commander. Yeah, glad we didn't try to hang on to that plot twist for too long. Mark, everything is going as planned here. How is progress on my request? I see. Very well.